Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is The Relationship Guru, otherwise known as TRG. Today's episode of Real Talk, we're gonna be talking about borrowing money and how that really puts a strain on relationships sometimes, personal or business. So stay tuned for that. I think we got some great advice for you. Hey, what's up, man? You're gonna pay me back, right? Yeah, bro, for sure. I'm gonna pay you back as soon as possible, man. Man, just think of all the things I can buy. Lambo, trip to Vegas, all you can eat, PS5, bubble tea. So guys, borrowing money, it's always a very tricky thing, whether you're the person that is lending out the money or you are the recipient of that money. Obviously, money makes situations very complicated. I've seen families torn apart, I've seen relationships fall apart. It's, <laughs> I don't wanna say it's the root of all evil because I really think that it's about how you view money at the end of the day and how much weight you put onto money in respect to your own life. So the only thing that I can really do is tap into the experiences that I've had and hopefully you can learn something from those experiences that you can take away for yourself and apply to your own life. So I think the first thing that I wanted to mention is someone that was borrowing money from me and this was a family member. This person has probably owed me money for 20 years. I don't expect that money to ever be repaid is this person evil? No, they're not. If they were capable of giving that money back to me, they would. They've just never been in a position to be able to do that, quite frankly. And this is behavior that's really been nurtured and enabled by a lot of people around this person for years and years and years. Does that mean that this person isn't responsible for their own actions? No, it doesn't. They are you know, very firmly and, and should be accountable for a lot of their actions. I was probably about, I don't know, 14, 15, 16, somewhere around there, pretty young. So it was a significant amount of money to me back then. Maybe I was pretty naive for lending this money to them. I personally feel like I have a pretty kind heart and I try to help people out when they're in a time of need, especially if they're calling me and telling me that they're in a jam. It gets a little more complicated than this. What? 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 I did help them order some stuff online for their work. I won't say what it involved. And behold, I checked my credit card statement a month or two later, and I saw it actually tripled. Now, I'm pretty conscious about the amount of money that I spend. So I really know when there's a big expense that comes in or an anomaly, I'll see, hey, my credit card statement spiked to, you know, $3,000. Okay, that's really abnormal for me. Usually I spend 1,000 to 1,500 bucks on my credit card on a monthly basis. But yeah, I think the one thing that really hurt me the most was I really trusted this person. And then when I confronted them, they made all kinds of excuses about it that uh, they used, you know, the, the company they ordered from, they used a different credit card or they used the wrong credit card, yada, yada, yada. I don't think that was the case at all, looking back. I think that they probably had bad credit or no credit left on their credit card, perhaps. Maybe they hit their limits. Maybe they just felt like they could have pulled a fast one on me. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt and say that it was a mistake. Even then, they could have called the company and rectified that immediately, which they didn't do. I wanted to call the police. I was going to call the credit card company and declare fraud. Obviously, that would put me in a bind because I'm the one who voluntarily gave them my credit card for that first transaction and basically take my credit card and run that through five or six transactions after that. So the only thing that I did was called my mom, consulted with her. She pleaded not to call the credit card company and the police because that would obviously get this person in trouble. So I decided against that. Bless my mom's heart, she offered to pay half of it just to smooth things over. I obviously didn't let her do that because that was my responsibility and I need to eat it. And that's the other thing, you know, it was my responsibility to know better. People need to kind of internalize that. 
who gave him the credit card you know numbers at the end of the day and expected him only to charge one charge that was me i did that so i think that it's really important that you guys understand one if you're going to lend out money to someone make sure that you are treating it as a business loan you're well within your rights to find out what it's for especially if you're lending out the money hopefully you're not lending out money to someone that's gonna score some drugs or something like that they probably don't need money they need help yes so i think that's probably important that you try to get them help instead of money or have any kind of other addictions Secondly, I think that you should come up with some kind of payment plan that they're going to pay you back on. Ask them, how much are you willing to pay me back per installment? You know, two weeks, four weeks. Once you go through it, guys, that you understand that you have to be black and white about that or else things like this are going to happen. That doesn't mean that they're going to adhere to that. They could definitely use this money to score some drugs or do something else. Uh, they could lie to you about the purpose of it. They could not pay you back a dime, but at least you've established some kind of boundaries that hopefully that person will adhere to and you will adhere to. I would not also give them the lump sum of the money. I would do this in installments. I would make sure that there are concrete receipts and I would probably pay that vendor directly so that I had control over what they were purchasing. Understand this guys, and this is something that I didn't understand when I was younger. If someone is going to ask you for money, they're probably not in a financial position to pay you back, okay? Or else they would have just paid their debts or fulfilled their debts on their own. I know things happen in life and I'll get to that in part two of this video that pertain to myself. But I think that's really important that you guys understand that. And the reason why I mentioned that is because if you come to grips with that, you will also probably come to grips with the fact that I am not lending this person money. I am just giving this person money. It is just a bonus if it comes back to me. That's really the reality of things. Once I kind of conceptualized all of that and put it together, I really understood I have to let this go for my own sanity and my own sake. Um, the second scenario, honestly, is about me actually borrowing money from one of my buddies. He did ask me a couple times if there was something that I could give him. He never charged me interest for it. He never was an asshole about it or anything like that. He just kind of occasionally asked me once in a while. I, it wasn't my proudest moment, honestly. I'm ashamed to say that you know, I didn't pay him back on a regular basis where I really should have. Luckily for me, I have paid him back 100% in full because I'm fortunate enough to be in a position that I can afford to do that. Uh, but at the time, I wasn't. I'm not trying to make excuses for myself. I take full ownership of that. But the consequence of that was that his significant other found out about this quote unquote loan. She was definitely not happy about it. And her and I used to actually be pretty decent friends. I was probably one of the only friends that kind of got along with her as well. Like it's kind of like his set of friends and then her set of friends, but they kind of don't intermingle or cross between each other. And that was a very unique thing because she could turn to me and hang out with me and we could cook dinner together and we both enjoy cooking. So that was fine. And I completely don't blame her for really not being very happy with me. She was just trying to protect her household. And yeah, I mean, it really sucks. Like I have to take full ownership of that. Even if I pay both of them back in full, which I've done, uh, I've even offered to pay interest on top of the money. They said, don't worry about it. But you know, the offer still stands if they're listening to this. And then I guess the other thing is just ask for forgiveness and hope one day that we can put this behind us and, and move on. But I don't know if it'll ever come back to being the same. Obviously, I think me and my friend are still okay because we've known each other for such a long time. But um, she's a significant part of his life now and he has to respect that. And I have to respect him respecting that as well. So, you know, 
I think it just goes to show you that lending money has consequences more than just having to pay back your friend uh, or your family member. Sometimes it does tear relationships apart. And the cases that I named guys are just super light cases. Like I'm t like, I've seen families go to court. <laughs> like I've seen like literally divorces happen. Children get disowned. So this thing called money, it, it's obviously important in our lives. I'm not so naive to say that it isn't important in our lives, but just be very, very careful when you lend someone money and when you borrow money from someone. I think the main takeaway from this is if you're going to borrow money from someone and you want to salvage that relationship, make sure that you have established really good terms as to paying back that person and stick to that plan. Don't fly to Vegas next weekend or buy a brand new laptop or a television when you owe your friend money. Pay your friend back. Then think about the trip to Vegas, okay? Get your priorities straight. So hopefully that advice helped you guys. I also want to hear from you guys in the comments below about your situations with money, your trials and tribulations, about the topics that we talked about. I know for a fact that this doesn't just affect me, it affects a ton of people that I know and a ton of people that I don't know as well. So I really want to hear from you guys as to um, what your experiences are like. Bye. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. We post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Remember, we're trying to change the world one click at a time. I can't do that without you guys. So please, 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 if there's someone in your family or friend group that you think would benefit from this advice, please share that with them. That's always greatly appreciated. And that's really gonna help the channel grow. And we'll see you next week on Real Talk. TRG out, bye.